Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're currently down the beach two hours before low tide. It's one of the big all marine tides. We've got a 0 0.5. So it's going to go down a seriously long way. And hopefully, we'll find some ormers. So stay tuned. We might find some other creatures as well. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Going to put some gloves on today. Just to save my fingers. In my old age, I like to be a little bit safer. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Will from local marks fishing check his channel out guys he gave me a great tip the other day i asked him how he fixes the holes in his the holes in his inflatable boat and uh he told me so i tried it on my waders and this I, it lasted all last night and it's solid so shout out to will that was awesome saved me a lot of money i go through waders like once a month <laughs> check that out for a winter's morning it is beautiful today we've got a strong wind but it's the other side of the island so we're getting a lot of shelter here there will be a little bit of wind but it won't be bad at all let's go for origin safety first baby brown crab I didn't want to crush him so I thought I'd move him I thought there was going to be loads of ormers under that what a perfect rock for the exampho crabs down here I love this beach there's always so much life green leaf worm there look looks like a green ragworm yeah beauty of an ormer that one first one of the day Nice. Oh size brown crab. Oh, just out of size, look. Nice one. Oh, finding some decent ones today. That's another lovely one, that. Right under the big boulders. Oh, that's a nice one. Any more around here? Nope. They're few and far between, but when I find one, it's a beauty. Yeah. It's got to be a keeper, that one. Very nice. Lovely warmer. I think we've found a little spot now where no one's been, so I'm going to concentrate on these boulders. Just work my way through slowly. Hopefully, I'll start getting a few more. Top knot. <laughs> He's off. Nice one under that rock. Nice. Whew. Heavy lifting on this beach. Yeah. All of the stones are massive. Another one. Very much. Just feeling around with my hands today because you can't see through the water. So I'm just feeling around the rocks, lifting them as I go, just popping them out. Oh, look at that. Hair out. Out is out. Come on out, boy. Aha. We got him. <laughs> He was right in the crack of that rock. There you go. Another one down. We're on the warmer train. Some nice boulders here. It hasn't been turned. That tide's shot out now, so we're getting to the ground that no one's been to. Happy days. Find some absolute donkers to that. That's another beauty. Found some good ground around here. 
and I'm the only one here. Searching under the little stones. Nice red one there, look at that. Well red. Very nice. Baby one. Certainly finding them. Starting to get a few now. Got a good little stint of warmers there. And I'm just going to go for a little mooch around and look in the holes and see if I can find any lobsters. I don't usually do that well for lobsters around here, but it's certainly always worth a check, just in case. Check this little beast out. He's obviously been caught out by the tide. Spiny squat lobster. Beautiful patterns on the back of these. Vibrant blues. You know, little tips, little red tips on the claws. Very cool little crustacean. Put them in the water because uh, these don't fare too well out of water very well. So there you go, goes back home. And just as I was looking at the little squat lobster, I see this. This is a sea slug. It's called the sea hare. And these, often in the summer, you'll see these with like purple dye on the beaches. And that's excreted from these. That's the sea hare. Beauty. Yeah, the size of that one. That's more like it. We're finding some busters today. I'm gonna leave that little one. Hopefully, some more around. Check that beauty. Just sitting there waiting for the pickings. Thank you very much. Looking for lobsters? Finding warmers. Just sitting on the rock. <laughs> There's all the big ones. Little baby one. It's right in the rock, this one. Pop him off. It's a lovely ormer, that. Right? They're really chunky ormers today. Oh, I see a lobster. There's a lobster in there, guys. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> right, let's get this lobster out. Nice. I was looking down the crack here, found an ormer. And then you look down the side and there's a lobster. The question is, how big is it? Well, that's going to be close to a keeper, that one. Oh, look at that. That's a keeper. That's got to be a keeper. You beauty. 
<laughs> no eggs, nothing. That's got to be a keeper. I did not expect that today. I don't usually find lobsters down here. I always find loads of small ones. And look at that, got a keeper. Easy keeper. Boom. Nice solid lobster there. Oh, look at that, eh? Look around, and he's in his hole. Ormer in one side, lobster in the other. I'll take that any day. I'm very glad I went mooching around now. So I was going to stay in the same spot and just go for Ormer's bit. But I'll just go for a mooch, just in case I can find anything. And there you go. We've got ourselves a lovely little lobster. Well, not even a little lobster. It's a nice lobster. That bit of a funny claw, look at that. Bit of a deformity. The good old tape. There you go. One solid lobster. Didn't expect that. The tide's turned as well. It's coming up. So hopefully that's a sign of things to come. <laughs> It's a good thing about these big tides, you can forage even while the tide's coming up, because the tide's so low, you can find anything. Get it in my foraging bag, Mr. Lobster. There we go. Starting to gather up a nice little haul now. Check this out, guys. Literally just moved to the other side of the rock, and in the crack, there's another one. Look at that. Another beauty. Seems to be a lot of ormers here. And as I'm talking to you guys, I see another one. Just under in here. And he looks like a keeper as well. There's a little Orma farm around here. So it seems to be balling up. This is what we want. Don't know if that one's going to be a keeper, that one. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Nice. Two under one rock. Another little lobster. Tell he's been dry for a while, he's a bit she's a bit lifeless, look. Let's chuck him in the water. Needs a bit of water for some uh, needs to catch his breath this one. Look at that big juicy one. Ah. Big buster. Thick that one. Working my way back up the beach now, guys. Got a few ormers in there. We're gonna have a little count up and measure them. And we got a nice little lobster as well. It's not a bad forage whatsoever. So there you go, guys. End result, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I've got 21 and a nice lobster. That's not bad going at all, that. Not a bad haul at all.